First there was a battle for Buka. Now Terry's the battle to rebuild Buka. The photo at the top of this page shows the utter devastation on one of the main roads, Vauxhall Street, in early April, just days after the Russian forces retreated from their bloody incursion into Buka, a suburb on the northwest edge of Kiev. Now look at the photo just below it. It's the same road, Vauxhall on the street, from the same spot, on Monday. You see the same red and blue sign in the upper right side of both photos, an advertisement for the ATB market, which is 550 meters straight ahead. And it's not just Vauxhall on the street that's been fixed up. An NPR team has visited twice in recent days spending several hours going around the town, and we didn't see a single damaged or destroyed vehicle on the roads. All the debris on the streets has also been cleaned up, and whatever damage Russian tanks caused to the asphalt in Buka is no longer visible. Here's a satellite view of the same stretch of Vauxhall on the street on March 31st. All those military and civilian vehicles have been towed to open fields on the edge of town that have been turned into junkyards, as you can see in the photos below. Of course, clearing the streets is just one small step in a massive rebuilding effort that will take years. Many homes and huge apartments are burned out shells, or have collapsed completely. On a rainy day, we met 71-year-old Valentine Libetia, who had returned to his destroyed home on Vauxhall Mystery. He was hoping to get his car, parked in a garage behind his collapsed home, running again. Lipitiev said his family members fled as the Russian force moved into the town, including a large presence on the narrow street right in front of his house. I saw the Russian tanks roll in, and I saw them shooting down the street, he said. I saw this war unfold outside my living room window B.